Hello, just your Yorix here, back for another review, and today I'm reviewing set number 70801, and it's called The Melting Room. It has 122 pieces, three minifigures, and it retails for $13 in the US, and of course this is another The Lego Movie set, and these are just starting to show up in stores. I got mine from Target. Now let's take a look at the packaging. This box right here is probably one of my favorite boxes for the Lego Movie sets. I love the colors of it because the back is dark, and then this part, the little border, kind of matches that part. Uh, so that's really, really nice looking. I really love the design of this. Even better is that the box size is really unique because it's kind of a thick $13 box size because compared to something like the Getaway Glider, you can see how much thicker it is. So that's really interesting that they chose this and I think that's pretty cool because it makes it a lot more unique and maybe makes it stand out on the shelves. You can see the back right here. At the top, it shows all the little bitty figures and for some reason, it shows the cap right there. Then the back, you can see all the little play features and stuff like that. So yeah, I really do love the box design on this one, I have to say. And also, you do get instruction booklet, which is kind of a little bit long. But then again, there's lots of pieces in this set. And you can see the little advertisement like they usually show. And there's an the advertisement for the game. I mean, nothing really different from the other sets. So the first mini figure is Emmett, and this is one that's most common in the sets. Uh, I mean, I just reviewed it in Getaway Glider, and it's also the Super Cycle Chase, the Bad Cop Pursuit, and Lord Business is Evil Lair. But still, it's an excellent mini figure. I do love Emmett because he's just adorable. I know Be Kind Silver Wine agrees with me. But you can see his torso printing is really good, as goes for his leg printing. This one I wanted to put with his scared face because he's just about to get melted. And you can see his, uh, his hair is still very detailed. I love that piece, and I love that I'm getting a lot of him because he does come in a lot of sets. For the back, here's this little piece right here, which is supposed to be the piece of resistance, which is kind of interesting, and you can see how that works right there. It just has this little neck clip like they usually put, and you just kind of put that like that. Of course, he does have another sided face where he's just kind of smirking, and so that's really cool. And then if you take off his head and this little neck piece, you can see his back printing, which is very nice. Now on to the next figure. Next up is Wild Sal, and this version of Wild Sal is exclusive to the set, and that's because of her hood right there. Uh, but you can see her torso printing is the same that comes in other sets, like you can see right here, this is one from Cloud Cuckoo. And so it's the same. Uh, and her leg printing is the same too, and you can see her back printing right there. And she does go with this little axe right here, but the best part is the hood because, it, like I said, it is exclusive to the set. And it is a very nice mold. But for some reason, they wanted to put the little graffiti mark or whatever, the little Wild Style art stamp. And you can see her hair a little bit right there. Uh, that's just really kind of disappointing because this would be so good if it was just generic, plain black. But they had to put all her little art styles, so it kind of really limits the use. Still, it's a very nice mold, and I really wish we could probably get it in uh, just a plain black color without all these little art stuff and stuff like that. So I'm kind of disappointed with that, to be honest. And you can see her facial print right there, and her back face print, which is the same in all the other sets. So here's RoboSwap minifigure, and while his torso, legs, and face isn't exclusive to the set, because they all come in the Super Cycle Chase 2, uh, his hat print is exclusive. So that's really cool because his hat print is that kind of CMF mold right there, uh, but it does have that very nice little badge printing right there, so that's really cool to get exclusive print in this set. And he does go with that gun right there, which is the new style gun, which isn't exclusive to the set. And you can see his back right there, he has a little walkie-talkie. So that's really cool, I do like this minifigure. I just wish that maybe they would have had more of an exclusive print. But you know, I guess that's okay because the little hat makes up for it. So here is the set all together. Of course I'm doing an overhead view. Again, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, but you can see it actually has a very untraditional design and I actually do like that. Uh, this part right here is kind of connected with this piece. So it makes for a very kind of weird design. You can see it's kind of like a pathway right here. So that's really cool. And the little glazer part right here, you can move up and down, but that's connected on a little hinge, so you can move it any way you want. Uh, there's actually this little part right here, which is printed, and the same little control piece right here, which is printed, which is nothing new. It's actually really kind of an older piece. So it's interesting to see that brought back, but it adds for a little bit more detail. But overall, I think this part's lacking on a little bit of detail. I don't know. I mean, it, it's supposed to be a small set, and I'm glad that they had a small play set, but there's just something missing about it. I do really do like this little play feature right here where you can move it up and down uh, with the laser, and then you kind of put Emmett right there, and I'll, I'll show it taken off. And the only little play feature with this is that you can move it up and down like that. I was hoping maybe you could move it up or like up like this way and then down like that way, but I guess, I don't know, maybe I was expecting something a little bit more elaborate. 
but it does add for t some tension where you can kind of save Emmett at the last minute by going like that. So that is really cool. You just kind of take Emmett out by taking him out like that, and then you've got to unshackle him. Of course, his hands have to be down like that. And so that's how you save him. And so it is pretty cool, but I don't know. There's just something missing about it. Uh, but I do like how they're trying out for a new design. And it's weird to get such a play set for a $13 set. So that's really cool. And now it's a fun art. Overall, while I was really excited for this set, I think I left a little bit disappointed. Uh, granted, there are a few cool parts about this set. Uh, I really do like the exclusive print on the Robot Swats little uh, hat right there. And I think the exclusive piece for Wild Style is a nice touch. But even then, I was disappointed that she had printing all over it, so it's really exclusive to her. Uh, so that's kind of a little bit disappointing. Uh, but still, it is nice to get a new mold for just a little kind of part on the set to make some, for some variation. Now, the price for piece ratio is really good. It has 122 pieces for $13. And you do get three minifigures for $13, which is good nowadays. Uh, but the actual build itself doesn't really have much going on. I mean, you can really just move this up and down and then that's really the only big play feature besides moving this too. So, I mean, even after that, I was expecting this to be a little bit more elaborate, but it's literally just putting it like that and putting it like that. Uh, though I do like the overall design of it because it is kind of a weird, unconventional design because you got this part right here and then you, they use this piece to make it look a lot. Like, it, it's, it's like its own thing. It's a really unique kind of design right there. But I think it's just, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. While it is a good value, while you do get some nice pieces, I think that, I don't know, I'm not really completely sold on this set. I will give it a B uh, because I do like the minifigures. I do like how you do get some exclusive parts. And I do like the price because you do get a lot of pieces for the price. And overall, I do like the feel of the set, or at least the design. Uh, but there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't really, you know, it, it, it kind of disappointed me with the play feature and everything like that. So that's how I feel about this set. And I will see you guys later with more LEGO Movie Set Reviews. Bye.